Well, hello, beautiful people. It's me, Sam, from your friendly neighborhood, Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. Um, and I, I wanted to do a follow-up video of, uh, of you know, a couple of things in regards to John Campia and Robert Meyer Burnett. And briefly with Chris Carr, I know I made a video on uh, my thoughts on the uh, Taylor Gonzalez situation, which still sad, still sad. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go over a little bit my thoughts on everything that happened. Um, yeah, let's just say it how it is. The show ain't the same anymore, people. It's not the same. It's just not. I mean, I, I, it, it kind of makes me depressed seeing it. Like, it makes me sad, very dull. Uh, it's not the same without Rob. It doesn't have the same energy. Um, and, you know, a lot of people could say, like, oh, man, maybe he rambles on. And, yeah. I mean, I think every YouTuber out there, every uh, personality in terms of the, uh, you know, with movies and music, like everyone has a flaw. Everyone, even you watching this, we all have flaws. And yeah, is Rob's flaw that maybe he rambles on and he doesn't, it takes him about 20, 30 minutes to get to a point. Yeah, sure. But his takes on things are what made the John Campia show interesting. I remember I first started watching the John Campia show and I, I thought to myself, why, why is it that I love this show? And it, to be honest, what made it stand out is that uh, it's, it, I mean, to this day, I think it's one of, if not the most well-produced YouTube uh, movie channel out there. I mean, yeah, they have, you know, where they go off topic a little bit, but they have a structure and I like that. And it makes the show like it, it, it's easy to listen to. And for that, I got to give it to John. I mean, he's he's created one of the best produced um, shows on YouTube. But after a while, I started to think like, you know, what what is it that I really go back to? And it's mainly the people. Yeah, the show is called John Campia. But it's the people that he has on there, his friends, you know, the workers there that make the show stand out. They make the show special. And that's why I was so confused as to why he, like, there was all this talk to changing the channel name. And, you know, I was I was happy for it because it would kind of step away from John Campia. But now, like, it, it, we heard about that. And it was just like after a few weeks, you, you never heard about it again. And it's like he's making all these choices that just they don't make sense. He's saying, oh, we're going to do this. He does the complete opposite, you know? Um, and on one hand, it's kind of funny how they would always talk about, uh, it ain't show friends, it's show, show business or something like that. They always say that. And, you know, on one level, if you look at it in a business point of view, you, you, you kind of, you kind of get what John is coming at, you know? Uh, and I, I I understand it's his business. Ultimately, he does what he wants. It's his money. Ultimately, he does what he wants. But in terms of like friends, like it, it and correct me if I'm wrong, but I was under the understanding that uh, John and Rob um, were friends even before the, the Rob would go on the show. That's how he started getting on the show. Um on a friendship level, it was kind of a, a, a dickish move. Uh, and I get it on a business point of view, but in terms of a friendship, like it just, I don't know, especially after Rob, you know, and I could be wrong, but I believe Rob had just found a new place nearby the studio. And now like, Rob will stop in every now and then, you know, that's what was said. I, I don't, and I don't, I don't get it. There's something, there's something darker going on there. I feel it. You know, I just feel it. There's something going on there. Everything is happening like back to back to back. I mean, the whole thing with, with Taylor, like it was just random. I, I, and I'm a huge Taylor fan. Uh, I, I like him. I think he brings a lot of, I've said it before, a lot of positivity uh, that sometimes YouTube lacks, you know, um, but there's something going on there. And with Chris Carr, my issue isn't that that she's there. She does what she can 
like she she like she's doing what she's good at you know and every now and then there are times where i don't agree with her there are times where i agree with her i mean that's just how it is sometimes you agree with people sometimes you don't but there are times where um i i i just feel like she's wanting to <laughs> she's wanting to say something more and like i i don't know if any of you guys have have felt it where there's some kind of tension like she'll bring up rob during during the show and like it like you can feel it in the air like i can i sense it like man oh there's something awkward going on here there's something that like john is just kind of wincing at and i don't mind that she's on there what what my big issue is that john is saying he's trying to be transparent he's trying to be up front with the you know uh with his audience you know it's for the fans you know he's trying to uh give us the best show um and you know he stated before whenever he talked about um rob when rob was leaving that chris would be coming in and out but she's been there for every show so i i just don't get it i'm like wait first she said that she was going to be coming in every now and then but she's been there for the past two weeks if i'm not mistaken and guys i <laughs> that first week after rob left i tried to give it a shot it just was so dull it 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 did not feel the same and i thought you know what maybe it's just like uh, my my bias like i'm just like a big rob fan so i'll give it a second week and within the second week i was like nope like I'm finding myself just not even watching the complete show. I, if there are certain topics where I'm curious about, I'll I'll click on the the uh, the smaller videos, you know. And even then, it's kind of hard to get through. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but um, I, man, this is I don't know. It's it's a big disappointment, man, because you had one of the best youtube movie channel shows and i just wish that they had never gotten into that office because it seems like ever since uh john made that financial uh and creative choice of moving everyone into the office the show has gone downhill they've been struggling financially i mean you can tell and you know what people talk about that you know little mini rv and i i thought that mini rv was cool i kind of want to buy one myself but it's his money. It's his choice. He can do what he wants. I just think it was in bad taste. You buy this thing and then you tell your friend, your your employee, um, oh man, we, we're struggling right now. So I, I can't really afford to keep you when you just bought that. Yeah, it's your money. You can do whatever you want, your business. But it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I'd, I'd have to look on Rob's video, uh, like the comment section, but I believe someone commented on how they missed Rob on the show and how like it was wrong of John to do all this or something like that. The, don't, don't quote me on that, but there, I'm, I'd have to go find the video somewhere and look at the comments, but, uh, Rob liked that comment. So it, and even on whenever things are brought up, you can tell that he's just reading a script. Like anything that's brought up about John, like he doesn't want to to be in the bad graces of John. I mean, mainly because I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, John is sponsoring Rob's show at least for a month or so. But it looks like it, it just seems like he's reading off a script like, oh, this everything's good. But. I know it like I can feel it with people. I'm really good at picking up on people's emotions and, you know, their their body language. And like there's he's not revealing the whole truth. And the same goes for Chris. Like there's something there. And I mean, I could say the same about Taylor as well. I, I, I don't know the full story. It could just be where he just wanted to focus on that, you know, uh, his own YouTube channel. And I think, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's a good move for him. But from my point of view, and this is just my point of view, um, they, especially with Taylor, they had a good thing going where they could focus on their own show, but they could also be a part of the John Campion show. So that makes me like 
it, it would benefit him more if he was part of the John Campion show, you know, more coverage, you know, but um, it just makes me think that there maybe it just wasn't Taylor's choice. And of course, with, with Rob, I mean, obviously it wasn't his choice for financial reasons. He had to get let go. But um, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I mean, I don't know if any of you can agree, but like I got my own stuff going on with my personal life. And I love, you know, putting on YouTube or Spotify and putting on the show and just having that relaxation, you know, just being able to work or do what I needed to do and have, you know, have it playing and just listening. And it was very comforting to me. And now that it's like that was taken away and he's making all these choices and he says it's for the good. He says it's for the show. And yet if it just seems like the past few weeks have just been negative and negative and negative towards about the show. And I don't want to bash the show. I, I you know, I, I hope it succeeds. I hope John starts to make the right choices and starts to realize, man, these financial decisions that I'm doing, maybe I should have just stayed in my, my garage and had Rob like when then we just kind of build it up. I mean, I think they're at 320,000 uh, subscribers. I think maybe if they had just waited, I, I don't know, maybe 500, maybe 600, maybe a million, then you, you talk about uh, getting, you know, uh, you know, a studio, uh, like an office. I mean, I mean, the, the best way, like from what I've seen in terms of YouTube, uh, the one, the channel that I think they have done it right is, um, Cypher PK. And he's, he's a, uh, he's a, a gamer. He primarily does Fortnite, but he's built an empire. I mean, he's currently building an empire and he didn't get an office or a big old studio at 1 million subscribers or 2 million or 3 million. It took him about 5 million subscribers to, for him to build up. And I think that he, he and he's a young guy. I mean, he, he made the right financial choices. So to look at a young guy like that, and then you look at John who has 320,000 and decided, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to get into a studio. I'm going to, I'm going to buy it, you know, rent out an office. Like it, it just, I think he jumped the gun. He got too ahead of himself and now it's coming back to him. And yeah, maybe there is a bit of that ego. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I think it's a lot of his ego that got in the way of, of, I mean, his show actually growing, but I, If it seems like I'm upset, it's because, like many of you, I enjoyed watching the show. And it was like an escape. An escape, you know, from problems, from stuff like that, you know, stress. I gotta, I gotta pet my, my dog. Hey, baby. Yeah. So guys, those are my thoughts. I it sucks, man. You know, I'd like to make a, a longer bit video, but then it'd be like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I, you know, maybe one day I could just sit down in my office, make a video for like a sit down for like 30 minutes to an hour and just make talk about everything, gather all the information that's that's out there and just give you my point of view. But let me know what you think. Have you been feeling down? You know, and I know if people it's like, oh, man, there's there's a lot more worries out there in the world, you know. But uh, I, I think I think the reason why I love YouTube is that like, yeah, people have their lives. But, you know, people need that type of entertainment, that type of escapism. And uh, I'm all for that, you know. So let me know what you think. Have you been down? Like, man, it, this sucks. You know, I used to watch it or listen to the podcast or the, the show at work and it used to, used to distract me or it used to make the 
the day go by faster, you know? Let me know what you think uh, because I certainly feel that way. So guys, thank you so much and take care out there.